Welcome to Nextstar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 6 Links. In this video, I'll be covering hyperlinks, bookmarks, and cross references. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to be under the Insert tab, and we're going to be talking about links. And the first link that we're going to be talking about is hyperlink. And what a hyperlink does is it points to another Word document, web page, or file. So to display hyperlink, we're going to highlight some text and double click the hyperlink button. And this will pull up a lot of hyperlink options. And the first one that you'll see is existing file or web page. And this is pretty self-explanatory because it allows you to link to an existing file or web page. So you'll have the existing file button highlighted, and then you'll come over here and search for the document you want to link to. So say we want to link to our situation analysis, you will highlight it and all you need to do is click OK and it will pull that link right in. And if you right click and open this hyperlink, this will pull up our situation analysis. Next we're going to go over how to link to a web page. So we'll highlight links again, so it will give us somewhere to link to. We'll double click hyperlink. Again we're going to be staying in the existing file or web page area. But this time we're going to come down to address and type in a web address we want to link to. So we can just type www.google.com. And if we just click OK, you see it makes it a hyperlink. And we'll right click and click open hyperlink and you'll see that it pulled up Google for us. The next area that we're going to be talking about is place in this document. It's also under the hyperlink area. And what this section does is it creates a bookmark within your document. And to do this, you're going to highlight what you would like to be your bookmark. So say we want hyperlink point to another Word document to be our bookmark. So we will highlight it. Then we will click hyperlink. We will click place in this document. Then we have to select from the list of top of document headings and bookmarks what we want to link to. So if we had headings in here, we could choose one of those. Or if we already had bookmarks set up, we could choose one of those. But for this purpose, we're just going to link to the top of the document. So you'll just select OK. And you see that it makes it a hyperlink. And when you click Open Hyperlink, it took us to the top of our document. The next feature I want to show you is Create New Document. And this will allow you to link to a new document and create it at the same time. So if you double click Hyperlink and you come down to Create New Document, you can just name your document right now. And this allows you to change the location of where you want this to be saved to. So if we want to save it to our desktop, we can just click OK. And we can click Edit Document Later. And this is our new document right here. The last hyperlink option we have is email address. So if you go up to hyperlink and come down to email address, you can make an email. And you can choose what text you want to display this as. But if you just choose an email address, and you can make a subject of your email. And you can just click OK and that'll make it into an email. The next feature we want to talk about is bookmark. And you can create a bookmark in any part of your document. So you'll just position your cursor where you want the bookmark to be inserted. Then you'll come up and click bookmark. You'll name the bookmark. Then click add. And if you click bookmark again, you will now see the bookmark that you've added. So the next thing I want to cover is cross-reference. And what cross-reference allows you to do is it allows you to create a reference in your document from some other um, content that you've already chosen. And this is going to be a dynamic reference, so if you're referencing links on page one, um, even if your document, you know, if you even if you add more to your document and it moves it down to page two, this cross-reference will automatically update. So in order to make a cross-reference, you first need to create a bookmark. And for this, we're just going to use the test bookmark that I've already made. And then what you want to do is position your cursor where you want to insert your cross-reference in your document. And then you're going to type any supporting text that you want to. So for example, if we are linking to you know, a sentence on our first page about links, we'll write see information on links paragraph blank. And this is going to tell us where we need to refer back to for that information. So what you'll do is you'll go up to cross-reference and click it and you'll choose bookmark and you'll choose test which is the bookmark that's referring to the links that we'd already put in our document and then you'll come over to insert reference to and you can choose page number which would be um, you know which page that text was on you could choose paragraph number or you know another option and so for me I'm going to choose paragraph number and I'm going to click insert and it's saying that it was in paragraph zero for us so that's the basic concept of cross-reference 
Thank you for joining Nextara TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide. Lesson 6, Links. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextara.